Hey guys, as you can see, this is almost done. I will just be mixing this for the last time. So that's it. This is now my sambal. Hey guys, this is now my sambal. And to finish this one, uh, I need to put some calamansi juice. That. Then give a stir. I will be trying a small amount of sambal if what will be the taste. Hmm? Sambal is an Indonesian chili sauce or chili paste typically made from different kinds of chilies. Then you have the onions, garlic, tomatoes, then some seasonings like salt, pepper, sugar, and uh, chicken seasoning. I knew sambal when I visited Indonesia for the first time. So every time they eat their food, their breakfast, dinner, lunch, and any kinds of meal like noodle soup, they always put sambal on it. It's already two months since I tasted sambal, so I am craving for sambal and I want to make my own version of sambal. By using ingredients that can be found here in the Philippines, so later I will be going to the public market to buy some uh, ingredients. So I will be needing chilies, different kinds of chilies, or maybe I will, be, I will be choosing two kinds of chilies, the hot and not that so hot. And then after that, I will buy uh, lots of garlic, lots of onions, a uh, lots of tomatoes, then instead of chicken seasoning, I will buy the cubes, the chicken nor cubes, and then some salt, pepper, then the lemon, but uh, we don't have the lemon, it's very expensive here, so I will be just using the calamansi. So it is just like a small version of the lime, but the flavor is strong and rich and super sour when you use calamansi. I did not make sambal before so this will be my first time doing sambal just for consumption and I will also let my family to taste it and see what's their reaction after they tasted sambal. So before I plan to make this video I watched some videos on how to make sambal in YouTube then I found that lady uh, she's an Indonesian uh, she showed in the video on how to properly cook the sambal so I will be using that video as my guide so I hope you continue watching this video and let's go to the public market Okay guys, so I just came from the market and I bought these ingredients for my version of sambal. So as you can see here, I have three kinds of chilies. So we have here a small chili, then this is siling labuyo. These two are hot and spicy kind of chilies. And this one is not hot, but I bought this one just for the color of my sambal. So it's hard for me to find a red hot chilies in the market because usually it's all green chilies this one is hot maybe the hotness or spiciness of this is average and this one is really spicy this is called labuyo yeah this is siling labuyo we have also a version of siling labuyo which is smaller that is uh, more spicier than than this one but still these two are considered uh, spiciest chilies so aside from those chilies I have this basic spices I bought also tomatoes in the market so I chose the ripe tomatoes then this is garlic I got some bunch of garlic just to make sure that my sambal is flavorful then this is the onions then this is our version of shrimp paste and instead of lime I bought calamansi because we don't have lime here in the Philippines we just have this one 
this is calamansi this is so rich and flavorful this is sour even though it is just small then instead of chicken powder I bought chicken cubes so this is nor chicken cubes just to add some flavor I am flavor in my sambal So we will start by putting oil. First we need to saute all the dry ingredients including the chilies, the three kinds of chilies, the tomatoes, um, the garlic and the onions. Now we will start with the garlic and the onions. So we will just wait for the onions to be translucent and for the garlic to be a little color brown. Now we will add the tomatoes. Hey guys, so this will be my first time trying to make a sambal. We will just wait for the tomatoes to be cooked and for other ingredients including the garlic and the onions. This is now okay. We will put this back again to the plate. Okay guys, so now let's saute the chilies. So I have put a little bit of oil. Okay, we will put now the chilies. So we will just wait for these chilies to be a little bit soggy. So this is okay now, we will be transferring now to the plate. Okay guys, we will now be putting the onions, the garlic, and the tomatoes in the blender.
So we will cover this now. So after using the blender, this should be the ideal consistency of the sambal. Everything was mixed evenly. So in here I'm just using a traditional way of cooking food. So instead of using gas or electricity, I use charcoal. Okay guys, so this is hot now, so I'll be putting a medium amount of oil. So I think that is better. So I will be adding down the blended chilies and some condiments. So we will just let this to cook and stir occasionally. We will just reduce this and just let the water to evaporate and after that we will add some salt, pepper and some cubes in order for the sambal to be seasoned. So at this point, I will be putting now the shrimp paste. So make sure it will be mixed evenly in the pan with the mixture earlier. Sambal is not really a main dish, it is like an appetizer for some Indonesians and I want also this to introduce here in the Philippines, especially to my family because we, are, we like spicy food. As you can see the liquid now is reducing so later we will be putting some seasoning. Okay guys, so now it's time to put some salt, pepper, and some sugar, including the cubes. So this is salt. Then some pepper. Then I will be adding now the nor cubes.
Okay guys, so my recipe has no exact measurement of the ingredients. I just estimate it based on my experience in cooking. So every time I cook, I just taste it. If it's good, then it's okay. So it is reducing now. So I will be adding some sugar. It now looks like sambal, so I'm very happy that I make. So I'm very happy that I cook this one for the first time. Hey guys, as you can see, this is almost done. I will just be mixing this for the last time. So that's it. This is now my sambal. So you may put this in a container then if you want to eat something like noodle soup or if you want to eat some fried chicken or grilled chicken you can put sambal on it. Okay, let's try. Wow, so good. Hey guys, this is now my sambal and to finish this one uh, I need to put some calamansi juice and then give a stir. Okay, at this point I will be now trying my sambal. Yes. I will be trying a small amount of sambal if what will be the taste. The taste looks like sambal and it's so spicy. I think the taste is like just similar in the sambal of Indonesia. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new to my channel, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button for notification. If you have comments, suggestions, or recommendations, you may write in the comment section below. See you in my next food trip. Bye bye.